This is Chris, IMTM Worldwide Radio, episode 20. Um, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Um, tonight's episode is called Music Makes the World Go Round. Um, purpose of IMTM Worldwide Radio, I always mention this, is to give those who are in different facets of the entertainment industry an extra voice that they might not otherwise get. Um, as I said, this uh, episode is called Music Makes the World Go Round. Tonight, I will have guests such as uh, Flying Without Wings, Sonny, and DJ Code Red to talk about the state of music um, and their opinions of music, possibly, and just things that they're doing, of course, of, you know, get to know them, and what they are individually doing to change music as it is. So, let's go ahead and get started. First up is going to be an artist that's out of our nation's capital. Um, he has a steady buzz on Twitter, um, especially lately, World Star Hip Hop. Um, and tonight we're going to find out what this buzz is all about, about um, Sonny. So let's go ahead and get Sonny on the line. Yo, Sonny, what's up, man? Hey, what's Hey, what's up, man? Well, first and foremost, thank you again for... Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I got you loud and clear. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, well, all, right, yeah, yeah. all right, cool. Well, first of all, again, just thanks for um, calling in tonight. Um, I really appreciate you know taking the time out and everything. I know you're busy and whatnot. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into your uh, interview. Uh, first and for foremost, tell us, who is the real Sonny? I'm Sonny. Uh, Sonny is real. I'm going to work at the UPNDNG. I'm going to work at all right. Um, how did, I was going to ask you a, a second a second question off of that. Hey, hello. All right, cool. Um, how did you come up with that name in the first place? Let me ask you this, what is your place in music right now as far as what you know as far as your competition or what you see out there and what music you know you put out, where do you see yourself right now in the uh, music industry? Of course, that's some valid points. Of course, um, do you, there are there anyone? Is there um, an artist out there that you see um, yourself getting up to their level within a couple of years? Then you know you said, like you said, you're not at the bottom, but you know you're still growing and whatnot. So, are there any particular plateaus that you think you want to either model yourself after, or how do you how do you see yourself putting yourself into a good position in the next couple of years? Uh, 
Well, you know, he's on tour right now all over the country. But there's nothing wrong with being cocky. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't toot your own horn, who else will? You know, I, I say that all the time. Um, what are some projects? What are some projects? Well, you know how I do. Uh, what are some projects that you're working on right now? Tell, tell the, uh, uh, the audience what you're doing. that you're uh, working on a record label too. Just going into the next question, why should people book you to perform then? What is it that they need to know about um, Sonny, who needs school, the whole that whole movement? Why should people be booking you right now? Do you do you say that you know since you're up in D.C. you know there's you know of course there's a lot of colleges and whatnot up there but there's also um, of course the you know the whole you know I guess you could say politician population that's up there where do you you know where do you think your fan base is just in your local community up there in D.C. Yeah, like you know, you're, you're, if if people are coming out to see you, you know, do you cater to a particular crowd per se? You know, the business people, the young people, the college kids. You know, you know, is it everybody, or is there someone in particular that you do definitely go after with your music? But well, definitely, of course, you always want to be multifaceted. You know, um, you know, you of course you got a lot of artists out there who definitely, you know, just cater to one particular market. But you know, the industry is so different now. You have to be, you know, across the board as much as possible. Um, uh oh, I didn't lose you. Okay, cool. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Well, Sonny, tell tell the fans, tell the audience where all they can find you at on the internet. Like I said, I know you've been doing a you know a pretty good job on your own as far as you know promoting yourself and whatnot. I see a lot of good you know reviews based on your music and the stuff that you've been putting out. Um, the single, um, I think it's called Your Body, uh, featuring Peace. I think that's pronounced yeah. right. Yeah, you've been getting a lot of feedback yeah. on Twitter on that for sure, for sure. So that's that's pretty cool. And like I said, of course, I always say until they make us pay for it, the internet is free. Twitter is free. Facebook is free. You know, you got to use it, and you just never know who's paying attention. So, you know, keep doing what you do as far as that goes. And, you know, again, I appreciate you coming on. Um, and next you know, hopefully I get to have you on, you know, get you know, once you start doing your tours and, you know, seeing more videos of you out there um, in the industry, man. So, again, thank you for um, calling in, man. Alright, son, appreciate it, man. Alright, 
Hi everyone, that was Sonny, and um, like I said, that's an example of an artist that he's really doing everything on his own, like from, you know, ground up, he has some partners, you know, within his group, and they're just doing everything on their own, you know, and if you got to do it, that's what you got to do to make it happen. I'm going to take a really quick break, um, I'm going to put a little song on real quick, and we're going to bring our next guest up. This is Chris, IMTN Worldwide Radio. Okay. 